Welcome to Sliver and Bite TV. Let's make mayonnaise. According to historians, mayonnaise was first invented in France in the 1700s, and it has certainly stood the test of time. In your food processor, place three egg yolks. These should be at room temperature. Your Dijon mustard, red wine vinegar, lemon juice, and last but not least, your salt. We are going to give this just a little stir before adding any oil. I currently have the food processor on a slow to medium speed. We're just getting the current ingredients acquainted with each other. I'm slightly increasing the speed. And now I will add in just a tablespoon of oil. The reason we slowly introduce the oil is that we don't want to shock the ingredients that are already mixing. At this stage, we're just familiarizing the oil with the rest of the ingredients. As it goes further on, we will start putting in a steady stream of the oil. As you can see, just with the two to three tablespoons I've placed in, it's already starting to thicken. It's extremely handy to have great utensils. As you can see, I'm using a Pyrex jug. It's got the perfect pour spout. So, to order this, head to the link below and order through Amazon store. That last pour was approximately two to three tablespoons. I'm now increasing the speed. Now we can add majority of the oil, but at a very slow speed, just so that the mixer has enough time to emulsify it. I now have the mixer on the highest speed possible. Now we can add in the remaining oil. It's okay to take a rest because your arm may get a little tired. You may think that that is all the oil, but make sure you grab a spatula and just scrape out the rest of it.
Now we will remove the lid and just scrape down the sides. There may be a little bit of the original ingredients stuck up the side of the walls. And then mix for a further 30 seconds to one minute. And then make sure you taste test it. You may want to adjust the lemon or the salt. Once you're happy with it, grab your ramekin. This is roughly a cup and a quarter of mayonnaise. So make sure you've got a vessel large enough. Your fresh mayonnaise will last in the fridge for just under a week, but make sure you've got it airtight. Now that you know how to make mayonnaise, there is no need to ever buy it from the jar ever again. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.